Hey there YouTube, it's Firehorn, and today I'm coming at you with another beer review, this time with Dogfish Head's 90 Minute Imperial IPA. They describe it as an IPA that features uh, constant 90 minute hopping. Now they dry hop it in every tank that it goes into during the brewing process and say on the label that it is balanced by a ridiculously large amount of English two row barley. So that it has a bunch of malt, a bunch of that barley in it to uh, balance out the extreme hopping. And this is about a $3 beer. Um, I buy it in $12 four packs, which it makes it a fairly expensive beer. Uh, it does clock in at 9% alcohol by volume though, so it is a fairly strong beer. And if you do have the chance to check out how this beer is made, you definitely want to check it out because there is a lot of ingredients that go into this thing. Like it, it's a pretty intense brewing process. And it pours out this wonderful golden color with a beautiful amount of head with about a moderate pour there. And it's it's this like golden deeper amber color. Almost looks uh, a little bit like an ale to tell you the truth. But I'm going to go ahead and smell it here and just as it looks it smells kind of like like a, a bigger ale one of the the heavier ales and it seems to me that IPAs that have a large malt backbone um, some of that sweeter malt it, they tend to balance out the both the smell the, the aroma and the flavor so where I do get these hoppy floral notes at the same time you can definitely smell this sort of sweeter caramely smell that is that that's you know all of that barley all of that that malt coming through and I'm gonna go ahead and take my first drink of this baby and man it's such it's such a complex beer, it's difficult to do a short review on. I will say this. To me, the Dogfish Head 90 Minute, the, the Imperial IPA, it's a 90 minute Imperial IPA with continual hopping, has a ton of sweeter malty notes. Hey, it does. It's sweet, it's caramely, it's rich and flavorful like a deep ale would be. But then, at the same time that this sort of, you know, the sweet malt is sort of developing on the front to middle part of your tongue, as the, the taste develops towards the back of your tongue, you get this high bitter taste, this high kind of tart, not quite lemony, but definitely definitely like that flowery hoppy taste is developing on the back of your tongue during that. And I'll tell you what, this is, like I said, it's a very complex beer. It's a beautiful beer. You can see lacing all the way to the top and just a little bit of head retention. This isn't the the best beer glass in the world, by the way. It's about a three dollar beer glass, so... That sort of contributes to the lack of head, but that's not the point. The point is this is a beautiful beer. It has tons of complexity. You really need to check it out. It's worth the three dollars, even if you just buy a four pack one time and you sit down with maybe two of these, because I don't think you're really going to get through four of these in the night. You know, 9% alcohol with the beers, it's, it's quite a bit. These beers are meant to be kind of savored as you sat, you sat down with it. I mean, maybe if you drink four over a night, sure, it could be, but I don't really fancy spending $12 on one evening of drinking. At least not just for four beers. But 
like I said, totally worth it. You have to try it if you like harsher ales, like bigger ales, sweet, as well as that tiny bit of hoppy aftertaste. You know, I, I can't even describe it, guys. If, if you like IPAs, you want to check this out because it has that sweeter flavor that you might enjoy. If you like heavier ales, if you like, excuse me, just that malt, then you probably want to try this because, you know, it can in, can kind of show you what a, what a big hop profile can look like too. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to cut off the video here. Hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Let me know if you've had this. Let me know if you enjoy it. And besides that, I will see you next time.